welcome back. So I am, today I am going to go over some meal prepping that I am doing for the week because I'm starting on my low carb diet again and I just wanted to make sure that I was set myself up for good success for the week. So I have this leftover ground turkey that needs to be cooked up, so I'm just going to make a couple hamburgers out of that. I'm going to add some stuff to it. I'm going to add some minced onion. Um, I'm also going to add some gourmet burger seasoning, some salt. and that's going to be it for now. So what I'm doing here is I am going to be marinating some chicken. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for it said 15 minutes or longer so we're going to put that in there. All right, so we're gonna be steaming some vegetables. First of all, I'm gonna put this steamer together. This steamer is ancient. Um, I bought this when my son was not quite born, when I was pregnant with him. And so I could steam vegetables and make my own baby food. Got my veggies going. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be making a cheeseburger bacon casserole. I have never made this before and I'm just going by what a lot of people on the internet, but I am going to make my own version of it. So when I made the turkey burgers earlier in the video, I added some spices and stuff to it and oh my gosh, it smelt so good cooking. So I think I'm gonna add the same spices to this. Get this frying up first and then I'll add it in a little bit. I'm gonna get the egg mixture ready for, for this. A lot of people were saying like eight eggs, but I don't want this to be like a breakfast casserole or anything. I want this to be like a cheeseburger. So I just need the enough eggs to actually hold the meat together for somewhat. So I'm only going to use like maybe three eggs, four, yeah, th three or four eggs. But I'm only going to use like four eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these eggs in here. Okay, that's four eggs and probably about a fourth of a cup of whipping cream. So anyway, so what we're gonna do is gonna add some cheese to our egg mixture. This is a cup. I am such a mess, all right. Okay, so that's about a cup. I'm gonna add a cup to that. We're gonna add more to the topping of it, so. Okay, our meat is getting there. I'm actually going to turn it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to add those spices to it. So we got the gourmet burger seasoning, which is so yummy. A little pepper, a little salt, minced onion. Now that is looking yummy. All right, so we got our cheese mixture, our egg, uh, heavy whipping cream. Um, we want our bacon. My knives. These knives I bought at JCPenney. I love them. I love them. So 
So we got that. So I'm gonna add that into our egg and cheese mixture. So there's my bacon, cheese, egg mixture. And I'm gonna add a little mustard to this. An eighth of a cup maybe? I don't really know. So I'm gonna do that with my finger. Yes, I'm using my finger. And I am, however, going to now put in the hamburger in. the oven um, preheating at 450 I believe that's what they said I'm just gonna watch it because I'm kind of going by eye here oh pickles just gonna kind of put them willy-nilly all over the place willy-nilly where did that saying come from I have no idea all right I guess you could also, if you wanted to, put relish in it, but, you know, to each their own, whatever you want to do. So there's the pickles. I've got everything in there, the, the burger, the cheese, the bacon. Um, and now I guess I'm just going to top it with leftover cheese. Not all of it, obviously, but enough to where it's going to be covered with cheese. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna put it in the oven in the in the very beginning on about uh let's do 15 minutes and then I'll come and check it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a quiche, a spinach quiche. I'm gonna make it in this this pan. So I'm gonna spray my pan. Let's do six eggs. It's just me. So it's just gonna be me. So we're gonna we're gonna do six eggs. Probably about a fourth of a cup there. I'm gonna add some more cheese in there. About three fourths of a cup to a cup. I'm gonna mix that all together. This is uh, frozen spinach, so I'm just going to kind of, I've been thawing it out a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of break that up a little bit. Probably adding about two ounces of cream cheese. Go ahead and put it in the pan. Take a look at that. Okay, so here is our quiche. And I'm gonna add a little more cheese to it on the top. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Remember that Baja citrus chicken stuff that I have been marinating? That is all gonna go in the crock pot. So this is what I'm gonna do. All that Baja citrus chicken marinade stuff that I've had sitting in there marinating, we are going to put it in the crock pot and I'm gonna leave this sit for probably a good four hours. And this will be a meal that I will have that I will, oh, come on. Um, that I'll serve with either cauliflower rice or some vegetables. So, and just so you guys know, it's the Baja Citrus McCormick um, grill, mat, grill Mates Marinade Mix. And you could use shrimp, salmon, chicken, whatever you want. And you just follow the directions and marinate it. I've marinated it for probably about an hour now. Just seems to do a lot better. So I'm gonna put that on low for about, actually, no, I'm gonna put it on high for about 
three, three or four hours. So let's go check out our quiche. Our quiche is, oh, our quiche is puffing up there. It looks good. It looks really good. So we're gonna let that continue to cook. I got my cheeseburger casserole done. I've got my chicken uh, marinating and cooking in the crock pot. I've got some steamed vegetables that I'm gonna do. I've got a couple, don't, don't come after me with my mess. All right, so I have a couple turkey burgers that I'm gonna use, probably put some, uh, what are those, vegetables in there with that. And that's about it. Here is my quiche. That looks absolutely beautiful. Now that will, it will kind of um, flatten a little bit as it cools. So, but that looks absolutely delicious. Okay, for the most part, my meal prep is done. We have our uh, bacon cheeseburger casserole, which looks absolutely delicious. We have our spinach and bacon quiche. We have our breakfast scrambled um, eggs, sausage, and peppers. We have a couple turkey burgers that I needed to make up. I've got some vegetables that will go with any meal. I do have some low carb bread and some turkey at, at work that I could also make for um, toasted turkey sandwiches with low carb bread. Um, and I also have my chicken cooking in the crock pot. My bok hot citrus cooking in the crock pot, which I'm gonna actually turn down on low. And when I go to eat this, it will be served with uh, cauliflower rice or some vegetables or something like that. So that is really good. So that is my, sorry about my messy kitchen. Um, that is my meal prep for the week. I also have some cheese slices that I could eat for a snack. Also have some almonds I could eat for a snack. Um, and I'm going to boil up some uh, eggs, some make some hard boiled eggs for possibly egg salad um, sandwich or something for lunch if I don't want what I've got here. So um, my meal prep is all done for this week. Okay, so you saw the meal prep. We did all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to. <laughs> so this is what we're doing on my channel so welcome welcome welcome